with the excitement building and the anticipation getting to an all-time high for Quantum Air, I want to talk, guys, about the gameplay of this title. And I would love to get your guys' thoughts about this in the comment section down below. The gameplay of Quantum Air. It's not something that we've really talked about up to this point in time. We've had the gameplay reveal trailers. We've had like 15 to 18 minutes worth of, you know, gameplay walkthroughs and things of that nature. And I want to talk, guys, about what my early thoughts on the gameplay for Quantum Air, how I feel about it, what makes me really excited about it, what makes me really intrigued about it. Let's talk about it. And like I said, I'd love to get your guys' thoughts about this in the comment section down below. So let's talk about it. So look, the gameplay, guys, for Quantum Air, up to this point, to me at least, looks incredible. Now, first of all, full disclosure, over the course of time, guys, I started primarily as a first-person shooter type of uh, type of player, right? My very first game I ever played on the original Xbox was Medal of Honor Rising Sun, and that was a first-person shooter, and I enjoyed it for what it was, guys. As time went, my first game ever on the Xbox 360 that came with my Xbox 360 was Gears of War, so then I was more so introduced into the third-person shooter type of genre. Now... First person shooter, I've always been better at, I've always enjoyed it more, but I've always respected the third person elements of games as well. So, with that being said, Quantum Air has this really interesting concept where it seems like they're merging the two worlds in certain ways, where you're able to see things from the perspective of third person as well as first person, which I absolutely love this concept. Looks like it's primarily, guys, going to be a first person shooter, but third person looks to be an option, in, at least in certain capacities, which makes me very excited. Now, the gameplay from the different weapons. We probably haven't seen all the weapons that are being utilized in this game, guys, from the shotgun to the pistols to different weapons, right? Overall, though, I love the way they, the guns sound at this point. The way that it looks looks really great um, as far as the, the way the weapons look looks awesome. And it looks like there's a lot of variety as well there, which is very exciting to me as well. Now, I love the chainsaw, guys. The chainsaw looks absolutely awesome. Kind of, like, gives me those those vibes of, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre slash, you know, Gears of War type of elements, which absolutely looks awesome. Um, so the weapons, they look and they sound great, at least at this point in time. The different enemies that you're going up against, what a variety of different enemies. That's something I'm really excited about as well. The enemies and the variations there look really great, guys. I mean, we're talking different types of enemies that you're going to be going up against. You know, you think of games like Dead Space where, you know, you're playing different types of enemies, but a lot of it's like necromorphs and things of that nature. And, you know, as time went, you're playing bigger bosses and you're going up against harder enemies. This looks like it's got a lot of variety on these different uh, the def different level designs and things of that nature. It looks like you've got a lot of different types of of enemies, which I'm so excited about. And then the bosses. There looks like there is some very, like, uh, intriguing bosses as well in this one um, that that gets me, you know, very, uh, obviously, I'm a little bit intimidated by some of these bosses, and I hope that they haven't showed us the best of what's to come, and I don't think they probably have over a team kill, guys. I think that there is going to definitely be some surprises here. From a gameplay perspective, it looks smooth. It looks, like, very clean the way that the, um, from the camera motion to, uh, the way the, the HUD looks, I love the way that, that it looks. I like how things are very integrated into um, certain ways, right? Not quite like Dead Space, but things are integrated in their own way, which I think is awesome. Now, on the flip side of that, it looks like certain enemies take a little bit longer than others, but like sometimes it doesn't make a lot of sense, at least in my mind. Some of the enemies look like they should be killed very quickly, but they don't. And then there's like this big spider-like creature that they showed off in the 18-minute gameplay trailer that looked like it was very easy for us to kill. Now, it's hard to say. Maybe different weapons help kill certain enemies easier or quicker, things of that nature. Um, but that's something I wonder if it's going to be kind of a balancing thing that they're going to have to do after launch or even, you know, before launch to, to after 
helicopter launch. Obviously, guys, what we've seen at this point has been a work in progress, but that's something that is kind of capturing my attention a little bit. Certain enemies look like they definitely should have been killed a lot sooner, and that definitely creates some some fear factors, without a doubt, blowing a head off of a, uh, off of one of these creatures and they're still alive is a very interesting concept. And like I said, guys, I mean, it's got me very intrigued. The gameplay overall looks awesome. I'm so excited about it. You can kind of traverse the, the, the world by driving around. It seems at times it looks like it's primarily going to be a linear experience, which I'm really excited about. You know, I think that when you got a pretty linear experience, you maybe have a couple of areas where it's semi open world, I think is fine, but you got that, you know, going into those closed corridors, when we're talking a cosmic FPS horror shooter, we're talking, you know, closed off corridors, very narrow, you know, and I, that really keeps the scares alive, right? And that keeps things very on the edge of your seat consistently. And so I got to tell you, I'm very excited what I've seen so far for the gameplay. It's got me incredibly excited, guys. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, up to this point in time, the gameplay, haven't really talked a lot about it at this point. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously, where there's elements of where it looks like gravity is going to be, you know, kind of coming into the fray where um, it's it's going to be interesting, right? I mean, it looks kind of like, are we going to get this, like, like we've ta been talking about, somewhat of a spiritual successor to Dead Space. A lot of people are comparing it to other games like, you know, Left 4 Dead, Back 4 Blood, GTFO, but to me, this is a first-person type of Dead Space title, right? Um, where there, uh, you know, lots of different creatures and things of that nature. Obviously, we'll have to wait till we get our hands on the game for us to really be able to kind of uh, express and see exactly what they are planning on doing here for the future. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts about this in the comment section down below. The gameplay up to this point, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Quantum Air content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.